Monday morning, a nice busy weekend, including my first boot sale. But now it's time to go to the tat tent because we've got some weekend orders to pick and it was a good one. Here we go, into the TARDIS. Let's get some lights on, there we go. Welcome back to the channel, Tatsters. My name's Jules Ross, this is Retro Reselling. We're gonna be picking some orders. If you're new to this channel, I'm in my garden, at the bottom of my garden, in a metal shed, insulated, boarded out, everything like that. And I buy and sell second-hand items mainly from places like boot sales, charity shops, auctions. If I can get my hands on it and it's good quality stuff, I'll buy it cheap with the intention of selling it online for a profit. I said it was a good one and I've just checked my numbers and it's been the best weekend of sales since, I can't remember, maybe pre-COVID, it's the best weekend. Just on eBay, we've got 11 orders going out at £990. Also got two on Depop and two on Vinted, bringing that to a grand total of over £1,000 in sales just from Friday evening to now Monday morning. Last week, I was focused on cleaning out my two shelves that were not supposed to have any stock on them at all. One was an overflow for goods in and one was actually for listed stuff. I managed to do that and that definitely helped with these sales. Right, let's get you on my head. Got a GoPro head mount tattooed to it. I'm gonna go through my racking, picking out the orders, telling you about each one, what I bought it for, what it sold for, how long it took, things to look out for, everything like that. Hopefully it improves your journey in reselling. So I'm gonna actually start with Vinted today. A couple of sales, both jeans, I believe, which are in here. A pair of Levi's 7-Eleven. There you go, nice, cheap and cheerful sale. Got these from a charity shop. These are 7-Eleven skinny, 32 inch waist, a regular leg, like really stretchy, like elasticated. Yeah, just a nice standard design. I think from a charity shop, these are owing me about three or four pounds. Been listed for a couple of weeks and Vinted got the sale, like I said, 20 pounds, uh, plus the postage. The buyer covers the postage and I have no fee, so it's 20 quid and that's it. Nice bread and butter sale to start with. Got a Hugo Boss sale now. Love a pair of trousers. These are black sort of chino trousers. Hugo Boss in black. These are men's this time for size 36 inch waist, bit of a bigger waist, short leg, 30 inch leg. Just really good condition. Just apart from the badge on the back, this was all like sort of degraded a bit, like the faux leather, but obviously pictured that. Uh, and again, 19.99, so 20 quid. And same thing with these. Uh, the buyers covered the postage and no fees. Two strong sales from Depop, and both footwear this time. Let's put them back. We'll start with the boots. You'll recognize these from a recent uh, charity shop sort of haul. Went to Billericay with Lenny and Amy. We found these nice suede boots for 10 pound. Charles Firewright, I believe that's how you say it. Firewit, not sure how you say it, but made in England. Size nine, really good size, really good condition. I was picking up for 10. And I've gone on Depop for 50 quid. Uh, Depop is a flat 10% fee plus a transaction fee. I think it's like 2% or something like that, like similar to PayPal, but from 10 to 50 before fees. Again, nice strong sale. Nothing's gonna break in the post and yeah, sold really quick. Talking of selling quick, in my previous video, you would have seen. Let's put them to one side. This is probably one of the quickest sales of the year so far. I literally picked these up yesterday at my boot sale, as you saw. These Nike Air Force Ones, they're utility white and black. I always type the code into Google, their model number, and it normally comes up on other websites, like the exact name, the exact colorway. And yeah, these were better than I originally thought. I did say, I called it in my previous video, when I picked them up, I said these will be sold by the next Sunday. They sold the same day. I listed them early evening, and they sold within an hour on Depop this time, cross-listed, eBay, Depop, Vinted. Depop got it, 80 pounds plus 2 99 postage. I bought these and the TNs for 20, so they owe me 10 each, we'll say, 10 to 80 before fees. Amazing sale. Again, nice and light, super, super quick. And that makes up for that other fail. Now we're on to eBay, starting off with a lingering sale from quick to slow. I've had this one for absolutely months and months, but it's finally gone and they finally paid. They took their time to pay. Uh, this, I believe, was in a vault vintage uh, mystery box like the first one i had so yeah it is a long long time ago in fact looking at my skew this is actually from february last year i've had this over a year and it finally sold it's gone for 25 pound plus postage 2.99 so within the bundle it does see me profit not a lot of profit i think like 15 pounds 
with each item owes me about 10 to 12 pound each so yeah i've made profit i don't want to wait a year for like 15 pound profit to be honest but um yeah it's a really cool item i chanced it at like 80 dropped it to 75 that throughout the year just kept dropping 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 but yeah found its price 25 pounds bit disappointing but it's finally gone nice quick sale again is beauty of an item this one this is a nice bit of hi-fi exactly the sort of thing i love to pick up this is a moran's cassette deck like a double cassette deck really nice thing sd 4050 all tested and working like an absolute dream not made in japan surprisingly just made in china but yeah it's still really nice sound works like i said like a dream perfect unit this is actually from a tip shop like a recycling center they have a shop they pick out good stuff that people are getting rid of i can't believe someone would want to get rid of this or if they've donated it because it is in nice condition uh, i picked it up with a load of other stuff it owes me six pounds 66 i had three items i bought for 20 quid listed and sold within 24 hours 74.99 plus postage covered up to 6.99 it's a really, really strong price and sold again, really, really quick. That's why I'm struggling to get my eBay store up to like 300 listings. I'm like the low end of 200. When my stuff's selling like this, this quickly, that's not a bad problem to have, especially now, obviously, shops shouldn't be shut in or anything like that anymore, touch wood. So I can carry on buying, selling quick, replenishing the stock regularly. These you would recognize from when I went sourcing with Nick Hills nice pair of bookshelf speakers so as you would have seen if you haven't seen it i'll put the link up in the corner right now there you go go ahead and watch it could have a pair of sony bookshelf speakers like light wood design five pound they were untested obviously i've tested them really nice condition just some faint marks and that some dinks from like being moved about and that but nothing serious at all they've gone for 35.99 plus 5.99 postage won't be too bad nice and square obviously so square box pad it out off they go cheap and cheerful lovely jubbly another pair of speakers i moved these to get the other ones so we'll talk about these ones next i picked these up back in the summer maybe mid to late summer a pair of kef speakers there's one and get the other one i believe i paid must have been eight or ten pound i know they were cheap for a brand like this here we go nice vintage quality pair obviously some marks like teak wood some marks in that, but that's to be expected when they're this age, sort of 70s, early 80s. In fact, I know the exact date they were bought because it's right there. These were bought on the 4th of May, 1970. There you go. So the beginning of the 70s. There you go, that's how old they are. Bit of a dink there to this uh, logo, but this one's all good. Again, tested and really nice sound. I was me eight to 10 pound from a boot sale. Took my time to list them with the whole move and everything. But they went, again, within two or three days of being listed, £110 plus £9.99 postage. Obviously nice and square again, but these are going to be bigger and heavier. This should be going with Parcel Force for around, yeah, £9-£10. I've got the local depot as well, so I can drop them off once they're packed up. Really nice sale. Exactly why I like vintage hi-fi stuff. Another item that I've been putting off of listing. We'll come back to this one. Come back to that one last, actually. Got this one i believe this was from the same sale as them kef speakers my wednesday boot sale this is from a house clearance guy um literally they clear the house put the stuff on the lorry and they unload it and sell it cheap i found this brand new old stock sort of stereo speaker set there you go. there's a like, everything's brand new never been opened still got its cable on and it's polystyrene absolutely minty fresh I'll put that back in there and then the speakers are on this side here there go. look at that lovely jubbly stuff there new old stock always sells well if this was used i probably wouldn't bother it's not like the most amazing machine but just the fact it's brand new unused for all these years that's what adds the value to it I had to make up a price completely i had no idea there's no solds or anything like that even for the past year i've checked on terapeak Chance at 150 and within again 24 to 48 hours I had an offer of 125 pounds and I took it boom this owes me I think it was 15 pounds from the house clearance guy I've had it linger around for like five to six months just sitting there gathering dust not being used but within 48 hours it's gone really strong price postage 5.99 uh, might cost a little bit more than that if I've messed the postage up I'm sure 125 pounds they will see me through 
yeah love that again vintage brand new always always demands high prices a pair of trainers again these took longer than i suspected so sony you would have seen i picked up two of these uh, the other pair were like a limited edition soho pair they did sell on ebay they went for about 150 in the end and this was the other pair not as limited edition just a cool design nice size I paid 15 for these i think it was 15 each uh, these have gone 45 pound plus postage so still a nice bit of profit took a few months i listed them in september so yeah coming up to half a year of being listed so i like to have things here for about three months that's like my target and then obviously start reducing prices heavily accepting offers but uh, yeah 15 to 45 not bad and again easy to post this came from my loft i bought this back in like 2015 2016 we've been sorting out our loft and yeah i found this I bought this back when I was sort of investing a bit in Lego. Again, previous videos, you would have seen I sold Lego Simpsons house. I had two of them. They sold really, really strong from what I originally bought them from. That was from the first lockdown. I believe I went in the loft. Um, yeah, that was quite a fun video. But I found this one. I completely forgot I had this. I think I bought this for like 30 quid in a clearance at the time. Obviously brand new and sealed. I put it in the loft. Forgot about it until now. This sold at the boot sale actually as I was walking around yesterday. 99.99 plus postage of 2.99 so 100 pound item there originally this owed me i think it was like 30 pound they had like reduced to clear obviously when they retired the set i think i bought two i sold one sort of six months to a year after it retired and i got like 60 pound but uh yeah 2022 100 pound ghostbusters yeah cool little sale a bit different for me got a golf club going out i was glad to get rid of this one this is sort of clearance stock i just wanted a shot of it Still made a profit though, of course we did. This is a Cleveland launcher, Freewood. Here we go, launcher, Freewood. Yeah, just a nice looking thing. Uh, only sold for 20 pounds plus 4.99 postage, but only owes me four pound. So yeah, still made profit, long thing. Be quite awkward to pack, but yeah, the grip was nice, like a brand new grip on it. Uh, this was my last club I've had from the previous season. Obviously you saw, I picked these up yesterday and I've still got another set behind here to list now in spring get these listed uh, and if this one has finally sold after having it listed since september um yeah must be golfing season now coming along it's actually left-handed which is a bit different so yeah, no frills um but if i knew it was going to be worth 20 pounds i wouldn't have picked it up but yeah golf clubs is one of the things i'm currently learning about subscriber sale next this is thanks to peter uh, in my small electronics i believe it's this one here just a Sony Handycam battery. Uh, bought a, I had a load of cameras to go through, which I've, I think I've done now. Might have a couple left. This is from a faulty unit. I just split out all the accessories if I get a faulty unit, so I still make some money. So that's literally all it is. Just a rechargeable battery for a camcorder. It's just an eight pound sale plus 2.99. But um, again, it was from a faulty camera. I, the camera probably owes me about five to 10 pounds. And this has already made me eight pounds back. Uh, and we want to split out the charger and microphone or anything else, the bag I can reuse. So that's why I take a chance on camcorders because the accessories are always worth some money. Thanks again to Peter. Another item from the recycling center is this one. So again, another quick seller, electronics selling fast for me last weekend. Panasonic Superdrive, no remote or anything. Uh, I will put a cable with it, so power lead. Again, within the same deal, it owes me £6.66, like three items for 20 quid. Tested it, working absolutely fine again. I give the head a little clean. I use like pure alcohol, if I can find it. Probably can't find it now. No, can't find it. <laughs> With a cotton bud and some alcohol, uh, as it's spinning, I give it a good clean and it really did clear up the picture nicely. So I've got a nice working unit for 34 99 plus 6 99 postage. So again, just a standard bread and butter electronic item for me. I enjoy picking up VHS players, camcorders, all that stuff. Yeah, this is my sort of first love in reselling. It's big and bulky, but it's so, so cool and nostalgic. And now we come on to the final sale of the weekend and what a sale it was. Oh my gosh. And talking about items I was putting off listing, I've had this kicking around for months. This must be again, midsummer. same with like this and them speakers. It's around that time, probably not the same exact boot sale, but yeah, it was definitely midsummer. There's a guy there clearing out his old electronics. I think this owes me 20 quid. I'd have it on QuickBooks, what I actually bought it for, um, obviously for bookkeeping. 
but I'm pretty sure off the top of my head, I paid 15 to 20 for this and something else as well, which is still listed. Colt Excalibur SSB, professional AM, SSB, FM, rack mount, base station, model 1200. I haven't actually picked up CB radio stuff before, not that I can remember, but this is complete with its original box. It's got its original inserts, instructions manual as well, which was a bonus. And as far as I could tell, I turned it all on, played with all the knobs and levers, and it looked like it was working absolutely perfect. I did say in the description, tested as much as I can. Like, I've never used CB radio before, so I'm not really sure how it works, but as far as I know, I've tested everything I possibly could, and it was working really nice. No competition at all for this exact model. If units did sell, they sold strong, but they didn't have the box, they didn't have the manual. I had pretty much a working unit, as far as I could test, with the original box and the original manual, and no competition at all worldwide. So I went high. I think I listed this for 395, I think it was, or I might have tried 450, had loads of watches. Someone came in with an offer of 350 pounds plus the postage, and I took it. 350 pounds for this unit, absolutely amazing. It's been so long since I've had a strong, strong sale this big. Something that was kicking around in my old unit and here for months on end. Literally, this must have been a pickup from over half a year ago. And I just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, listed, and it sold again within the same day I listed it as well. So after months and months of not listing it, not testing it, putting it off, within the same day it sold, oh, <laughs> within the same day it sold for 350 quid. Absolutely amazing. The only thing to be aware of when selling strong items is it could be a strong return if they decide to change their mind or if it turns up damaged. It's nice to get one sale worth that much, but the anxiety is real until they leave positive feedback or if you just don't hear from them for a while. So hopefully it gets there safe. Obviously I've tested it as much as I possibly could. It looks all good. Even the handset, it was activating what it should do. So yeah, nervous. Obviously don't spend the money, don't spend what you can't afford to refund, that's my motto. So if you've got daily eBay payouts, ideally, um, yeah, don't spend that money, especially if it's a big sale. Obviously if you sell uh, smaller items like 9.99, 12 pounds, obviously that's fine, that should be easier to refund. But when it's into the hundreds, just be wary of that, because they can literally just say, I've changed my mind, I'll send it back. And you have to accept it and you have to refund. Be wary of that, but I hope this pile here, has given you some inspiration. Hope you've learned something today. I've remembered why I love electronics so much. I usually get bored of clothing at charity shops throughout the winter when it gets to January, February time. I'm sick of them, but with my new knowledge I'm gaining, I've been really enjoying it. Looking for it more at boot sales and will continue to do so. It's been making me some good money. So happy to be getting into the electronics again because they sell super quick and they sell super strong. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. See ya.